Alana McCullough has been making candles for about 15 years. The moment you walk into her house, the sweet scents hit you. The more I did it, the more support I got, and the more unique and creative I got with the wax, the more people said, you should be selling these. And then I was just like, you know what, I think I'll give it a shot. Demand for Lana's handmade candles has suddenly ignited. The unique look caught the eye of buyers at Hallmark. Now they're stocking her Hartmont designs at select shops in Manitoba, Alberta and Ontario. New orders are pouring in fast and Lana's dining room table is overflowing. In one month, like that order from Hallmark, basically, I think it came close to tripling our sales from last year. Burning the midnight oil, Lana is watching her candle making hobby turn into a promising business. As it begins to take shape, she's agreed to show us her workshop. It all begins with her magic book, filled with five years worth of color, scent and design combinations. I love getting in to the kitchen and just playing around with new styles and designs and just seeing what I can make the wax do. I really do enjoy it. Add in the color, then we're adding in the fragrance. She places the wicks into the jars with some hot glue, clips on a lid to keep it in place and then pours the wax onto the wick. One of our things that you'll notice is we do the curly wick. It's mm -hmm. just another one of those little people are like, why do you do that? It just shows that it's like a handcrafted item. Lana also makes these eye-catching pillar candles. They're rare and hugely labor intensive. For every one of these crackled candles, Lana can make 20 of these votives and close to 100 votives for every swirled candle. There's so many steps involved. It isn't like you just pour it in the mold and it comes out like this. When I'm pulling them out of the molds, I'm like, these are so darn cool. <laughs> Isn't this classy? <laughs> All of Lana's pillar candles go onto this custom-made heater to level the bottoms. Built by a friend, it's just one of many ways Lana has found creative solutions to giving her candles a professional touch. For every candle that makes it to the shelf, there's easily two or three dozen candles that have been test poured. Along with a sense of pride comes the instinct to protect. These two-tone candles, the ones Hallmark wanted, are unusual. And given the competitive nature of the candle biz, Lana's keeping some of her techniques secret. Even though this is like a good success right now, I'm always thinking about what's the next thing. Looking for new color ideas, um, looking for new techniques, just to see what can set us apart even more.